Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we will delve deeper into the cost of CNC machining and share some optimization strategies. If you are interested in this topic, don't forget to click on the subscribe and like buttons and explore together. CNC machining has been widely used in various industries and is the most cost-effective production method. It has no mold cost, high processing efficiency, and fast transportation speed. However, due to various factors involved, when customers choose CNC machining suppliers, they usually do not know how to calculate CNC machining costs. The cost of CNC machining may seem simple, but it is actually complex. Tell us in the comment section, what is your first impression of CNC machining costs? Next, we will provide you with detailed information on the calculation of CNC machining costs, as well as comprehensive factors such as workshop mechanical loss costs, raw material costs, and surface treatment costs. There are various raw materials suitable for CNC processing, including aluminum processing, stainless steel processing, titanium processing, alloy steel, brass processing, etc and plastics including abs, nylon, palm, peak, etc. Aluminum is the most common material in CNC machining, and there are also many grades of aluminum. 6061 and 7075 are commonly used for CNC machining. It is widely used due to its economy, good machinability, and easier surface treatment. You just learned about the approximate price of aluminum through my picture above, Compared to this, the raw material prices in China will be slightly lower. Next, I will show you another material, stainless steel. The price per kilogram of stainless steel in the United States is about $1 cheaper than that in China ABS or acrylonitrile butadiene styrene is a common thermoplastic polymer. The price of ABS material per kilogram in the United States is approximately $20.35. The price of ABS materials in China is approximately 915 US dollars per kilogram. From this perspective, not only metals but also materials including plastics in China will be cheaper than those in the United States. In the past, China relied on imports for its materials, but now it can produce the majority of its own materials, which is also one of the reasons why China's raw materials are lower than those of the United States. In fact, there are many materials that can be processed by CNC machining. If you need more material costs, please send an email to obtain a list of material costs. So how can engineers and designers reasonably reduce the manufacturing cost of parts during the design process? We can optimize the following three points. Selection materials is one of the biggest factors affecting the cost of CNC machining. Firstly, it is necessary to meet the needs of the product and choose inexpensive materials. The machinability of materials is also important because it directly affects the processing speed and thus affects the price. These materials have different cutting properties, which also means different processing times. The processing costs also vary. If the same part is subjected to cutting experiments using copper, aluminum, steel, or plastic, the order of processing efficiency from fast to slow is plastic GT, copper, aluminum, te, steel, Try to remove some unnecessary features of the parts and adopt more unified features, which can reduce the number of tools used, simplify the machining program, and improve machining efficiency. For some features with low precision requirements, relaxing the requirements can help reduce the defect rate of the parts. 3. Surface treatment Choose an economical surface treatment based on part accuracy, appearance requirements, and usage environment. This is the charging standard for CNC processing in China and CNC processing in European and American countries. CNC machining is a high-precision machining method suitable for large and small batch production. However, there are many types of CNC machining equipment, which are usually distinguished by machining accuracy, machining ability, and machining efficiency. When we need to produce a part, we will analyze the processing difficulty of the part what process flow to use, and what equipment to use for processing to ensure processing quality, control costs, and delivery time. Next, we will explain with examples example and case analysis this is a propeller component. 
E designed by hardware engineers from Yijin the working principle of a propeller is to drive the core components of the propeller to rotate at high speed through the output torque of the motor. According to accuracy levels S, I to third, and the third, this part belongs to S level accuracy. Most of the parts are curved surfaces with diverse machining variations. After analysis, it is suitable for four axis CNC machining or five axis linkage CNC machining. Due to the lower flexibility of 4-axis CNC compared to 5-axis CNC, there may be tool interference or incomplete cutting during the machining process. Due to strict requirements for part accuracy, we have chosen 5-axis CNC machining to complete the parts for 20 pieces at $80 per piece. In the mass production of 1,000 PCs, considering the high processing cost of 5-axis linkage, we added an additional process at it has been proven that we use solid round rods for cutting. This method has a relatively large amount of rough machining and also causes a large amount of material waste. This time, we have replaced rough machining with casting and only need to perform surface finishing on the propeller during the 5-axis CNC machining process. The final batch processing was completed at a processing cost of E. Tell us in the comments if you have encountered similar challenges or success stories. If you find this video inspiring, please share it with your colleagues or friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get more information about CNC machining.